Hi, seventh graders, and welcome to lesson 5.3a. Today, we will be solving two-step equations with integers. You'll want to be sure you have your notes open to lesson 5.3a, a pen or a pencil, and a calculator. And if you have all of these items, you are ready for today's lesson. Remember, when we're solving equations, our goal is to get the variable by itself to find its value. We're going to be doing that today. Please find example number one in your notes. Equations that have two operations in them require two steps to solve them. In this case, we see multiply and add. In other words, to get the variable by itself, you will need to undo two operations. Well, sound easy? Well, we know that to undo any operation, we use the inverse or the opposite. But what gets a little tricky is when there's more than one operation, you have to know what order to undo those operations in. Well, order of operations tells us what order to do operations. So if we reverse the order, we can undo operations. When we are simplifying an expression, we follow these steps in order. So when we want to undo operations, we can just go backward in the reverse order. So I would undo addition first, and then I would undo the multiplication second. Well, that's perfect and all, and that will work, but I like to do it a little bit different. It involves having a party. Let me explain. I'm going to first draw my line down the equal sign. This is going to kind of be like the doorway of the party. Then, anytime you see an equation, you are the variable. In this case, you are the x. Now, there's two different kinds of people that you invite to your party. You generally invite your best friends, your closest friends, and you notice how they are attached to you. They're going to be hanging out really close to you. They're your BFFs. And the other people that you invite to a party are your acquaintances, people that you know and you say hi to every day at school. Well, if dad comes down and says, you got to send some people home, it is getting late. Who are you going to choose to send home? Well, most likely you're going to send home your acquaintances first. You're going to keep your BFFs at the party. So let's send home those acquaintances. To undo a plus 7, we're going to want a minus 7 to both sides of the equation. When we do that, we'll bring down 3x equals 9. Now, mom comes down, and she's going to say, hey, party is over. It's time to send everybody home. All right, who we got to send home next? We're going to have to send home our BFFs. Even if we don't want to, they're going to go home. So how are we going to do that? Well, it looks like we have multiplication with 3x, so we're going to undo it with the inverse, which is division. So we'll divide both sides of the equation by 3, which gives us, us by ourselves, the x at the party, and x would equal 3. Yay! Isn't having a party so much more fun? Absolutely. Okay, let's take a look at example number Two and see if we can apply the party situation. Let's give it a try. Here's number two. Have your calculators ready. Okay. I'm going to put a line down my equal sign. And now I'm going to take a look and I see that I am the X right here. And I am attached to four closest friends and then I have minus eight acquaintances over here. So Dad comes down and says, you got to send some people home. Who are you going to send home first? Well, not the BFFs that are attached to you. No way. We're going to undo the minus 8. Send home those acquaintances that are hanging out over here with the inverse. We're going to add 8 to both sides. By acquaintances, let's drop down our four BFFs. Oop, that gets a little bit close there. We have 4x equals 20 plus 8. We can do that, 28. All right, there was our first step. Now... Mom comes down and says, you got to send everybody home. Well, we're going to have to send home our four BFFs here. So this is multiplication. To undo it, we're going to use the inverse. We're going to divide both sides by 4. Dividing by 4, I get x all by itself. 28 divided by 4 is 7, and I have the value of x. So what I did first was I undid the subtraction, and then I undid the multiplication, and I got my value of x. You then can always go back up and plug 7 back up for x into the equation to be sure it's true. 
4 times 7 is 28, and 28 minus 8 equals 20, and it checks out. You always can go back and check your answers. All right, let's take a look at number 3. In number 3, we have negative 4x plus 10 is equal to negative 18. Our goal is to figure out the value of x. And we're x. We're finding our value, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's draw that line. That's kind of our doorway to our party. Let's look inside. All right, here's our x. Looks like we have four closest friends, our four BFFs at the party. They're negative, though. That's OK. <laughs> and then we've got 10 acquaintances. All right, dad comes down and says, we got to send some people home. Who are we sending home first? Well, not these guys, not our BFFs that are attached to us, that are closest to us. We're going to send home our acquaintances. Let's undo it. Minus 10 to both sides. All right, so these are opposites. They will cancel. Let's bring down negative 4x equals negative 18 minus 10. You can always use your calculator. That's negative 28. All right, now let's take a look and see what we have. Here's our x being multiplied. Okay, so now mom comes down and says we got to send some people home. Goodbye, BFFs. We're going to send you home with division, the inverse operation. We're not just going to send home our close, four closest friends. We're going to have to send home their bad attitude here. They're negative, aren't they? We're going to have to divide by a negative 4. So let's divide by a negative 4 to both sides, and that's going to give us x all by itself. What's the value of x? Negative 28 divided by negative 4 is positive 7. We get 7 again. All right, there's a value of x. And remember, you always can use a calculator and go back up into the equation and plug the 7 right back up there and be sure that everything checks out with the calculator. All right, number 4. Negative 7 minus 3 times n is equal to 11. Let's solve this one. All right, line down the equal sign. This is going to help us keep our work nice and straight and organized. Okay, let's find ourselves. We are the N right here. We are attached to our closest friends. Here they are. They're stuck to us again with multiplication. All right, look in front of that three. Do you see how there's a negative? We have three negative closest friends. Over here, way over here, these are our acquaintances. So dad comes down and says, you got to send some people home. Who are you sending home? These guys right here, negative 7. How are you going to do it? With the inverse, the opposite. What's the opposite of negative 7? Positive 7. I do that to both sides. So right here, a negative 7 and a positive 7 are opposites. They will cancel out. So i got to remember to bring everybody down. My negative 3 closest friends and myself over here, 11 plus 7 is 18. Okay. Now, we see multiplication. We're connected to our closest friends with multiply. So when mom comes down and says, that's it, party's over, send them home, we're going to send home our three best friends with the inverse operation, which is division. We're going to send our three closest friends home and their bad attitude. Don't forget to divide by negative 3, both sides. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 makes 1n. There we are by ourselves at our party. Not such a fun party anymore. And 18 divided by negative 3 would be negative 6. And there's my answer. There's my value. So again, I could go back up and I could plug it in. I could take negative 7 minus 3 times negative 6 in the calculator and check that it equals 11. The greatest thing about solving equations is that you can check your answer. All right, we are on number 5. Get the calculator ready. It could be handy for you. Oh, what's different about this one? I see I'm attached to my BFFs with division this time. Okay, we haven't seen that yet. All right, so we see this R. I'm going to make the R just a little bit bigger so I can see it a little bit better. So we have R divided by 3. So there we go. There's us. R divided by 3. It looks like we are attached to our closest friends here with division this time, but we can definitely tell that we are stuck to them. We've got seven acquaintances over here. So dad comes down, says you got to send some people home from the party. Who are we picking? These guys. Minus seven. What's the inverse? Well, we're going to add seven to both sides. Okay. So negative seven plus seven are opposites. They cancel. Let's bring down r divided by three equals. Now on this side, we have negative 11 plus seven. And it's fine if you want to use the calculator for that. Looks like we get negative four. Okay, so now I can see very clearly here that I am still at the party with my three best friends. We're connected with division. 
So now when mom comes down and says, party's over, let's send them home, we have to undo divide by three. The inverse of division is multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by three. Remember, this is three over one, and the numerator and denominator both divide by three, making one. So I have R all by itself. R alone, and there I am alone at my party. And over here, negative four times three? Well, that would be negative 12. So the unknown value of R is negative 12. And again, I could plug that back up here into the equation for R to be sure that that works out. So I'm undoing two operations. Let's try six. All right, as you're writing it down, I'm going to get my line down my equal sign. All right, let's take a look at this party and see who's here. It looks like we've got an M that we are the M, right? And we are connected to our closest friends with division. There they are connected to us. Oh, they got a bad attitude again, don't they? <laughs> All right, so we gotta, we, when, dad, when mom comes down, or dad, dad comes down and says, we gotta send some friends home, it's getting, it's getting late. We're gonna pick these guys, our acquaintances. Keep the BFFs at the party. Let's send them home. This is a positive four. So to undo it, I'm gonna subtract four. So four take away four would make zero and it cancels out. Let's drop down the M divided by negative 10 equals, now on this side, I've got negative five minus four. Remember, if you need to, you can use a calculator. Looks like that's going to give us negative 9. There's kind of a glare. See if you can see that. It's always okay to use the calculator if you need to. Okay, so here we are. We are the M, and we are connected to our best friends, our 10 best friends with a bad attitude. <laughs> we are connected with uh, division. So now when mom comes down and says the party's over, we're going to undo or send home with the inverse operation of multiply. We're going to multiply by negative 10. Remember, that's negative 10 over 1, right? So we send home those 10 closest friends um, and their bad attitude, right? They're going to cancel over here, negative 10, and we get M equals negative 9 times negative 10 is positive 90, and that is our value of M. All right, we're doing pretty well. Okay, couple more. Number 7. On this, we have 9 minus x equals 13. Mm, x is our unknown value. Draw our line. So think 9 take away how many is going to give us 13? Hmm, what would that number be? Well, let's solve. Let's undo. It's kind of hard to see that there is actually two operations here. Let's have you find the x. Remember, you are the x. Okay, here you are. But look in front of you. How many closest friends do you have? Mmm, they're invisible. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't they like to be? Oh, they're invisible. How many? There's one. Remember that invisible coefficient? That's one. Okay, so you have one BFF. And then over here, you've got nine acquaintances. So let's send them home first. How are we going to send home nine? Remember, this is a positive nine. Look in front of it. So the opposite would be to minus nine to both sides. Okay, so Positive 9, take away 9 would give me 0. And then be sure that you're bringing everything down, right? If it helps to write the negative 1 in front of the x, do that. Remember, these are being multiplied. And then I have 13 minus 9. And 13 minus 9 is 4. Okay. Now, I'm going to undo and send home my closest friends. My one closest friend with their bad attitude. Well, not too sad about that. We're going to divide because this is multiplication. We're going to divide by not just one, but negative one. Send home them and their bad attitude, right? Negative one, and we get x equals four divided by negative one is negative four. And that is the value of x. So let's go back and put that back into the equation. It says nine minus x right here equals 13. And if we got the value of negative 4 for x, is it true that 9 minus negative 4 is equal to 13? Well, absolutely, because take away a negative means to add, and 9 plus 4 is 13. So see how I can go back and plug it right back in and check. All right, on number 8, let's draw a line down our equal sign. Ah, oh, now it's much more clear to see maybe because these two are turned around in the other problem, that we do have, here's our x, we do have a best friend. Oh, yes, it's a negative 1. 
Oh yeah. Put the one in front of there. That just reminds you that that's, that's what it is. So you're connected with multiplication to your BFF here. All right. Let's send home acquaintances. Goodbye, 12 acquaintances. Wow, we've invited a lot of acquaintances to this party. See you later. It's getting late. So minus, that's the opposite of add. And I'm going to bring down negative 1 times x. If it helps you to put the 1 in front, I really um, suggest doing that so you can really see what you got in front. Negative 50 minus 12. If we're at negative 50 on the number line and we go back 12 more spaces, we're at negative 62. All right. I'm on ready for my next step. I'm going to undo multiplication with the inverse of division. I'm going to divide not just by 1, but by negative 1. A negative 1 divided by negative 1 gives me a positive 1x. Do the same thing to the other side. 62 divided by 1, they're both negative, would be a positive 62. And there we have the value of x. So we did eight examples. On number nine, we're going to have an application problem where we're going to see if we can write a two-step equation for a situation. Let's give this a try. Jamal enjoys photography, and he wants to purchase a camera. The camera he would like to buy costs $549. It's expensive. Jamal currently has $250, and he's planning on saving $15 each week. So we're asked to write and solve an equation to find approximately how many weeks it will take him to have enough money to buy the camera. So I've put a box around the question, how many weeks? And remember, it says approximately, so this might not come out exact. And so I've answered it with a sentence. It will take about blank weeks. All right, let's take a look at the numbers that we have in our problem. Let's find our total. Total is going to come on the right after the equal sign. The camera he liked to buy costs a total of $549. So that's what we need to get. All right, Jamal. It looks like he has $250 and he's planning on saving $15 each week. We're wondering how many weeks it's going to take. So let's use the, the letter W for weeks. So he already has money and he plans on saving more money. The money he already has plus what he plans on saving would give him the total to buy the camera. So I'm choosing an addition equation. What does he already have? $250. What does he still need to add? Well, he plans on saving $15 each week. The word each represents multiplication. $15 each week could be represented with the expression 15 times W. Okay, so I have 250 and I'm going to add $15 every single week, each week, per week. And that's going to equal the total that I need to buy the camera. Let's solve the equation and figure out how many weeks this is going to take Jamal. All right, line down. Remember, in, in every two-step equation here, you are the W. You are the weeks here. You are attached to your closest friends, 15. Let's leave them there. Let's send home acquaintances. Let's take away the 250. Subtracting, 250 take away 250, leaves us with 15W. Now, the calculator could be helpful here. We can take 549 minus 250, and we get 299. I can already see that 299 is not div evenly divisible by 15, so that's why we're going to get approximate answer. And in real life, it doesn't always come out perfect. Okay, so now I'm ready for my second step, which is to undo the closest friends, the BFFs, right, with division because they're being multiplied. So we're going to divide by the $15 that we're saving each week to figure out how many weeks it's going to take. Okay, now when I take 299 and divide it by 15, ooh, I get 19.93 repeating, and we're asked for approximately. So W is approximately, that's the approximate symbol. It, it takes me a little more than 19 weeks, so I bet at 20 weeks I'll have a little bit more money than I even need. So it's going to take about 20 weeks for Jamal to save up enough money to buy his camera. All right, we did it. So let's go ahead and we're going to summarize really quickly. All right, in the summary, because we're solving two-step equations, let's write number one and number two. Our first step is always to undo addition or subtraction. And by doing that, you are sending home your acquaintances. 
And then the second step is always to undo, multiply, or divide. And by doing that, you then send home your BFFs. Your BFFs are always connected to you, the variable, with either multiplication or division. Thank you so much for joining me for two-step equations. Have a great time solving equations.